Hello! Um, I just got to do a little uh, video of me using or showing you how to use a post rammer, a manual post rammer. Now, these things are quite good, but they're heavy. Um, <laughs> and uh, I think you could get RSIs with them, but they do work. Um, preferably use them in the winter when the ground is soft. And well, they really firm up then in the summer as well. If you do it in the summer, you're likely to get loose posts. Now, um, if I just turn this around, so I'm rigging this one again. So I'm not actually going to edit this video, I'm just going to actually just show you and do it. So this is the um, post rammer on the floor here. Yeah, oh, it reminds me of a Cyberman. Does anyone remember the Cybermen? That's what it looks like to me. It looks like, I don't know why. Or a monkey, they call them. But that's a uh, yeah, post rammer. And uh, I need to put some posts in here. What I'm going to put one here to accept a, uh, a manual gate. Um, then I'm going to put another one there to reinforce the corner. And then I'm going to have a French gate here. So I think this piece of netting, um, which you can open. And then there'll be a series of other posts going around the boundary. Yeah. So first of all, I'm just going to show you how to do one. Um, because it's only got a short video. And um, I'm going to do this corner post first. So basically, first got to work out where you're going to put it. Which is going to be here. And I'm going to accept a gate, which is going to be, I imagine, a one metre gate. Does it be one metre? Yeah, one metre gate, which is there. So effectively the post needs to be on this side of the one metre. So bear with us, I'm just going to set this camera up. I say camera, it's actually my mobile phone. But that works. So it's going to run that under the show. It's on a little tripod -y thing, but it's going to be quite low. So if I just do it down here. De -de -de. That's the grass, you'll see that. There you go. And I've got a lot of back right there. Might be better doing this in another direction. <laughs> Bear with me. Do it this way. Otherwise, you're going to have the sun in your eyes. And that won't help. Right, so there we go. About there. Let's go higher. All right, so. If I get a stable. Right, here we go. So I'm going to grab a post. I know where I've got to put it. And I'm going to start ramming it in. Now, the camera's on the actual microphone. Sorry, the camera's... The microphone is on the camera. So uh, my voice might be a bit quiet while I'm ramming it in. So here's the post. It's got a point on the bottom, as you can see. There, that's a point. It's been a uh, sawn cut point. But also, I did a little while ago, but I've already treated the bottoms of these as well to give it a little bit longer um, lifespan. Now, this is the one where the gate is going to be hung on. These are 120 mil, so about 5 inch posts. So, I've got to put it about head in line with the other two gate posts. Which have a, there's going to be a, a mechanised um, linear gate going there. Um, but this is just for the pedestrian gate. Get that pop on there, that's how you push it as far as you can. Hopefully it'll just stay there for the moment. And you grab your monkey. So the post rammer, as you see there's a hole in there that goes to the top of your post. And if you're short like me, you've got some muscles in your arms because you've got to get it on. Right. So put it back a bit, you have to. So, and then we can start ramming. Now, I know those two posts over there are plumb, so I'll just make sure I keep this rammer in line with those. And once I start going in, it'll hold itself. And then you can tweak it by moving it a little bit one way or the other. Uh, let's double check and put you all in. Let's, just, let's put it a bit down. No way. There you go, try that. Do that all day 
long you're gonna know it. So I know that this post here is plumb in both directions. So as I go down a bit further, I can eye up between the two. So I know that this, this, this is plumb. But equally, if I use a tape measure to make sure these are parallel, I can know when, if I've got to tweak it one way or the other. Very good again. That's hard work. It's not so easy if you've got a fat belly, you keep banging it. I'm just going to check now for parallel. Get out of the way. Put a big hole in the grass. Plum wise, it's got to go that way a touch. That's good. It's a bit strange, it doesn't look plump, but it is. Because we're on a hill here, so uh, it's a bit of an optical illusion. <laughs> look at that bread. God, I need to get fit. Right, it was a mag one, that was. That's quite handy. Right, so that's 114 at the bottom. Equally, it should be around 114. That's like bang on. Yeah. It's a winner. So I'll ram it in a bit further. Better keep doing it until I get to where I want it to be. Deeper it is, it's more solid. The deeper it is, the more solid it's going to be. So, I'm going to have it at my heart rate now. So, I'm at my heart rate. I've got a fit bit on here. Oh, God, it's really tiny. God, I'm so unhealthy. Right, so, some steps are done. 107, can you see that? 107. If you can uh, subscribe, we'd be really grateful for that. You know, and so thank you for watching. But I'm going to carry on with this now. Oh. In a bit deeper. Anyway, see you later.